But today, I mean, there's a lot of processes, but today we're going to focus on uh, talking about, uh, well, right now, we'll focus on talking about the foundation design. We have a new foundation design that goes along with this system, and it's a good foundation design for other systems like Adobe. And what we're doing is we're using this high strength composite technology and with a system called uh, the laminated ferro cement technique. And so we're at the early stages of that. And so I wanted to get a little bit of that together here for you today and then show you what that's about. And, uh, and what we uh, start with is these insulated styrofoam forms. I can show you one of those. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna show you the beginning steps of the uh, laminated ferro cement foundation technique. Uh, and this is also, in addition to this being a new way to do a foundation that's a little easier and a little less expensive and just as strong and very likely uh, stronger. This is an engineered design uh, and it uses a box beam principle rather than using a solid beam of, of uh, concrete with rebar in it to make a solid base for a home. What we do is we, use, we skin these insulated forms with a, uh, the laminated ferro cement, which what it means by laminated is that we embed layers of reinforcing. And that gives, that gives this type of, rein, uh, it reinforces this kind of concrete beam in a way with active tensile reinforcing. Whereas if you use rebar inside of a concrete beam, that's called passive reinforcing, where, meaning that it doesn't actually do any work until after the concrete beam is broken. It'll hold the concrete together. Whereas this kind of reinforcing, uh, it'll, it, it's very similar to pre-tensioned pre uh, rebar. And when you do a two layers of this lath, it's pretty strong. And when we're, there's, they use this technique to build uh, boats, ferro cement boats. And, uh, and so we're doing something new here. This is a new technique. And we're gonna, this is the folder machine that we fold the remesh baskets on. It's, it's got these movable wings here that are simply hinged and we got some broad adjustable legs that help keep it stable during production. And we can produce about 63 of these baskets. These kinds, this is the building base material. Uh, do a whole roll in about, oh, three hours. So it's a pretty, efficient way to build a lot. So in just a few days, we can build enough baskets, armature baskets, to construct an entire structure. And usually somebody's here working the machine. It's a lot of fun to work. It's not, it's not hard work. Um, we just cut the steel and run it through the folder. And uh, all another person is putting the blocks in place. But back to the foundation design here. Uh, we're just kind of trying something new here, trying to fold our metal lath straight so that we can fit it inside of these styrofoam forms to get ready for the plaster. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a bunch of this uh, metal lath for the uh, laminated technique. All right, we're in the process of trying out our very first uh, fold of the laminated ferro cement technique. We're trying to make sure that we get them square and we get the measurements right so they're re going to be ready to go as we plaster that foundation beam. And we think that we can do that uh, 180 feet of foundation in two days, which I think would be pretty good for two guys. And uh, so there's the fold. We've got a good 90 degrees. And uh, I'll separate these two and we'll embed them one at a time. But we're gonna do a little test fit first, make sure I folded that correctly, which Aha, and it does fit. So we're gonna have these two layers and what we're gonna do and uh, what this technique is about. We start out with this open. And of course, we're gonna be doing this in the ditch because it'll be kind of heavy to carry these things once we plaster them. They will weigh, since these are eight feet long and we've got about an inch of cement on here, I know from experience that that's gonna take, uh, it's gonna take about a half a mix for each one. So that's about 150 pounds. Uh, wheelbarrow weighs about th a little over 300. Um, and we're, we're, what the laminated ferro cement technique is about 
is what you do in order to fully encapsulate this kind of reinforcing to make it do its job, which is to uh, give impart a lot of tensile reinforcing and allow a lot of flex without cracking and give it a, just a lot of strength and toughness. So we start out, we're going to plaster a thin layer of our composite mix, of, uh, a PVA fiber reinforced mix. And then we put the, you know, we'll do an area that's the size of our first layer, which isn't too much, but it's a, it's a, it's a good workable amount. That's, you probably don't want to do more than that at a time so you can control these and get them brushed in. And then we'll embed one layer. First, this is two layers, but I'm just giving an example. We do one layer first and rub it in with, and make sure it's embedded and cover it with cement all the way up the sides and going past a little bit for the next one. And then once that's fully embedded, then we put the other layer in and rub that in so the cement presses in from the bottom and then we rub and then we apply a little bit more cement over the top. So what we're going for is a shell that is less than an inch. It'll probably be three quarters. The bottom will probably be, in order to take care of this corner here, will be uh, about an inch. So we're just going to say roughly an inch all the way around of the shell. And so this hollow shell will actually be stronger than a solid beam of, of uh, rebar reinforced concrete. So that's what we're trying to show here as a, as a less expensive way to do a new, a new kind of foundation.